Hi, how's it going? Uh, today I had the idea of improvising in multiple elements in Brazilian music. And what is that? If you play some instrument that does more than one note, but even when you play one melodic note that plays just one note, you can you can explore the the different elements or for example in a in a instrument that, that plays one note by by time you can play two melodies for example and i'm gonna talk about this and show how i study this uh, how i study this process um many of many of us think the melody as the only thing that we use to improvise and it's not the truth we, we, we can improvise harmony we can improvise the bass line we can improvise and doing two, vo uh, two voices uh, we can uh, improvise the rhythm a lot of different elements that we can in, uh, give more richness to our play so, for example, I was thinking in the theme O Barquinho, that one, that... This theme. Uh, for example, if you play a melodic instrument, you can explore this... Uh, explore this two different melodies making some dialogue between them it's possible to or some rhythm uh, stuff for example A sensation of bass line, uh, uh, a rhythmic, uh, a rhythmic line of this just one note. You can apply uh, in some string instruments that you have one. Uh, you can play one string with the other thing finger. Uh, so th it's possible to explore these conditions in melodic instruments, but. At the piano or other instruments, you can apply the improvise to all the elements. And for example, I'm gonna try someone now, and we are gonna talk about uh, the process of studying and improving this. All right. For example, uh, let me uh, finish the the, the melody.
I've done this improvise uh, and if you paid attention I improvise sometimes with two voices uh, uh, talking and sometimes I improvised on bass lines uh, sometimes I improvised using some uh, some intervals of, of tenths sometimes I improvised with the harmony I was playing the, the melody but I was changing the harmony and what else I don't remember now but I improvised in the multiple elements this uh, created an unpredictable um, uh, improvise because it's not just not uh, done about lines it's it's different it's each element that you work you can ah I improvised rhythmically also I create some different rhythmics sometimes different feels uh, rhythmic phrases of preparation so you can explore all this universe when you're playing Brazilian music uh, thinking as each element you are playing uh, is a different musician that can uh, that can work these elements in different uh, situations and how do I make this uh, make this a uh, study to to be capable of doing this I have a process that I can uh, to, to study that I focus my attention in one element per time for example now I'm gonna study uh, the bass for example difficult to do and and that is nothing in music that we can divide and work in a, in a better uh, how can I say working in a, in a easier way and how do we do that oh, we can study just improvising one chord Having the idea 
for example, to, to make some uh, talk between the rhythm and the chord. working just in one chord, no problem, if you have difficulties. The, then, if you find just easy to improvise in one, mm. improvise in two. Or for you that are professional musicians, sometimes you won't have difficult to do this, so you can explore the form, the whole form, alright? So this will be interesting to do. Let's talk about another element that we could work on. Uh, for example, uh, I would like to work now on the reharmonization. Okay. I'm using now the secondary dominance. For, if for you, if, it's, if this is difficult, no problem, you can work in just one progression. Find the dominant sec. Uh, the. Uh, I'm sorry, I've, I've mistaken the name. It's dominant. Uh, dominant substitute. Here in Brazil, we call sub, sub five. So what else? We can work also in inversions, making inversions on the bass. I've done a live about a uh, quick tip about inversions. Let me show you.
changing the, the chords by inversions and sometimes I uh, you can if you play a harmonic instrument you can explore the different qualities that can you you can use inside um, the different qualities you can you can explore when you have a melody and a bass you can you you don't need to to have the same chord of the original harmonization you can uh, find another one all right i'm gonna talk about reharmonization re in another live all right uh so this was the harmonic uh the harmonic improvisation we can explore also the, the rhythmic improvisation. Let's take the, the rhythm of bossa nova. It's interesting what you've said. Ah, some people can think it's boring, but I'm not doing this for people here. This is for my study. I'm exploring just one element. I used to say when, when you go to a gym to make some exercise, you are working, uh, for example, your arms. You are trying to get stronger in your arms. You just do the exercise for the arms. You are focusing your, your forces and your attention in giving more strength to the the arms. And the in the at the musical elements, you can do the same thing. You can work just on them, explore different ideas, 
and when you do you improvise or for example uh, I'm doing the same uh, uh, the same thing about a person works in, in his um, strength of the arms of the legs and all, all, all about all, uh, all the body in separate parts but uh, he's a fighter for example and when he goes to fight he's gonna use all together and but now this is an exercise and no problem uh, if you try to do this, all this stuff at the same moment you you won't be working in a, and have expressive results you're gonna have uh, you, you're gonna won't get strength in this it's the same thing for example in the fight if a man if for a man a woman fighter uh, is, is is training he he or she is gonna get more uh, strength for example in the punch and uh, because in the fight uh, he or she won't give so many punches to get more strength so that's why it's important to focus in just one in one element you are or working on all right uh, now I'm gonna talk about the the rhythm part, for example, the rhythmic part. No, some in intervals that I've done. Uh, of Cuba but when I do we use in Brazilian music I don't use so much I uh, just use some passages in, in for example Bossa Nova you can find this in Fevo also uh, when you mistake your correct or mistake you repeat your idea and uh, when you study the improvise you can study just using two uh, elements for example I'm gonna work a little on the melody that's common and on the, on the bass same time it will be very difficult to do this and so uh, you can you can work on, on the different ideas and improve in what you think it's better it's more important to you all right 
this is the, the, is the idea behind the, the, the improvisation of multiple elements that I use on, in, in piano solo. You can explore in your instrument, even string instruments that you can uh, do two melodies, work on, on the rhythm, uh, or just melodic instruments. You can work with the rhythm and, and rhythm and melody together. So try to explore, try to choose some idea to work on today, all right? So I'm gonna do one last improvise. I hope you have enjoyed this live. And if you have some doubts, if you wanna know about some, some detail, write the minutes on the comments and I, I'm gonna tell more about, all right? Uh, let's go for the, the last one.
Right, so I hope you have enjoyed and learned with this, uh, this class. And if you want to know more about, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. I'm going, I'm doing lives every day about the Brazilian accent improvisation. And I'm talking about all the subjects related, all right? If you want to know more, just write for me. I'm gonna have pleasure in answer you. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow for more quick tips and lives. Bye bye. A lot of Brazilian rhythms are. We can explore the different variations. Mixture in some. Perfect. Chegar tudo quebrado, né? Ele, ele é mineiro. Ele é.